Some NFL news not related to Miami. Antonio Brown uh, arrested recently for an incident at his house in uh, South Florida. He was granted bail today after a lengthy uh, hearing uh, in uh, that area. His bond was $100,000. He will be required to get GPS monitoring, release his passport and guns, go through drug and alcohol testing, and a mental health evaluation. So this saga continues for Antonio Brown. I guess it could be a good thing for Brown to undergo mental health evaluation. You saw his agent, Drew Rose, now say he was stepping back from representing Antonio Brown until Brown got some help. Uh, recently, you know, Brown's best chance of employment has been in boxing. You know, there's been a lot of talk about a potential exhibition match or maybe, an, I guess, technically a professional fight between Antonio Brown and Logan Paul, who's the YouTube star that recently fought on his own against uh, another YouTube star. And that that fight was something that I know as someone that works for DAZN is something they really wanted to make for the first quarter of this year, maybe sometime in April, maybe right around the NFL draft uh, as a potential. So you have to wonder if that affects Antonio Brown's ability to make some money because he would have made millions to fight Logan Paul. Like that's a big time event, not a great boxing match, but Antonio Brown was penciled in to have that kind of fight. Yeah, Paulie. You, you go back to August when he did all the stuff on hard knocks and was uh, yeah. giving the Raiders a hard time and forcing the hand and get rid of him. Dan even hinted that there's something wrong with this guy. Cause we met him at the Super Bowl a couple of years ago and he was surprisingly low key and easygoing and nice to everybody. You know, again, he's performing, he's on set, but Dan, Dan was mentioning it in August saying there's something not right with this person. Cause he's got 15 million due just if he sits on the Raiders and does nothing, he's got two back-to-back -back $15 million seasons and to, to blow that up intentionally without a backup plan is it, I'm not making fun of it. Nuts. It's, it's felt nuts at the time. Yeah. Look, as you said, if he had just, kept his mouth shut, showed up to practices, he would have gotten his guarantees. This isn't like Le'Veon Bell who was angling for a long-term deal and was trying to negotiate and gave up a year's salary and there was an agent and it was concocted and it was about a long-term plan and about the wear and tear. And Le'Veon lost a lot of money to a point, but this felt the opposite. This felt like just sabotage. Absolutely. Self-sabotage by Antonio Brown and the money he lost there. Then the stuff came in New England. And you could tell how it was working in New England when he was facing the media in the Patriots locker room, he was following the Patriots blueprint. He was saying the things that you hear a lot of Patriot players up and say, but then all the other stuff came out with the text messages and the stuff he was saying to women. And, and then it just kind of, you know, went downhill from there. And look, social media, it's been Antonio Brown's, it's been his Achilles heel. Like if he did social media, wasn't around. If AB was off social media, yeah, he still had the same problems, but he probably wouldn't be in the kind of predicament that he's in right now, at least not financially. So $100,000 bail for Antonio Brown. We'll see what comes of it. I would imagine, Perloff, you're more plugged in on this than I am, but I would imagine there's his NFL career is over, right? It, it's got to be. Have now. we reached the point of no return with yeah, Antonio I mean, Brown? I would assume so. I mean, he could get, uh, unless he had like a drug problem, he got completely sober and cleaned up for two years, but I don't even know if that's the case. Because you can rehabilitate pretty much anything Michael nowadays. Michael Vick. Yeah, came I mean, back, but receivers don't have that much of a career length, though. True, right? But the last Antonio Brown last seen was arguably top five receiver in football, certainly a top five receiver in football, arguably the best in football. So there might be a team I could see like the Las Vegas Raiders taking a shot on him, like give it a try, see what. Yeah, you're totally there. right. See what yeah, Paulie. But the sentiment on Antonio Brown could change if he gets a psychiatric psychiatric evaluation. It's found out he has an affliction. He has a disease of some sort and it comes out and it's public and he embraces it and people talk about it. Then it's going to be difficult for the NFL to bar him from the league. If he's diagnosed bipolar or some type of uh, disorder. Absolutely. He does one interview. He says he's taking medication. Now he will get another opportunity in the NFL. Cause I don't think he's crossed the line in a way that makes him radioactive for NFL teams. You don't, you've got some stuff, you've got some stuff involving women, but you don't have, you don't have that one maybe big, big thing that would make him really radioactive. You've certainly got some stuff involving, you know, Robert Kraft, things you said about ownership, but that's not enough to keep him out of the league. I think there's just enough wiggle room for a handful of teams to take a flyer on Antonio Brown as a receiver. If he, as you said, Paulie, gets the help that uh, he clearly seems to need. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.